Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving another awesome geometry puzzle. A circle is inscribed in the region between a quarter circle and an isosceles right triangle in a 1 by 2 rectangle as shown above. Find the radius of the circle. Okay, awesome. At this point you can just go ahead and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, let's get started. Now, we're going to be making some connections as always, right? So let's go ahead and connect the centers here. So let's say we have about this. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect those. That's going to be an important connection, as you know. And then we're going to be dropping a perpendicular here. Okay, so we can just go ahead and drop the perpendicular all the way through like this okay that'll also be very helpful and i think that's pretty much it maybe one more the point of tangency here is going to be useful and i'll connect those as well okay cool now let's call the radius r in everywhere and then now we have a one by two rectangle meaning that this radius is going to be one here okay this is going to be one here and this is going to be one, but I got to make some, uh, I got to use some variables here. So let's say, okay, this is 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees and let's call this length X. Okay. Now what we know about this is that this is one obviously, right? Okay. So in this little right triangle here, uh, we know that the angles are 45 degrees because this is isosceles right triangle. This is a 90 degree angle. So the other leg is also going to be x, and this is going to be x root 2, okay? Uh, the hypotenuse is going to be x root 2. Uh, so, and this is going to be r, uh, and this is also going to be r, because this is also going to be 45 degrees, so this length is going to be r as well. Okay, now let's see what type of equations we can come up with uh, from here. Obviously, the hypotenuse is going to be r root 2. Let's go ahead and write that down. Well, that's going to be helpful because now that's kind of like the uh, height of the rectangle. We can write as x plus r root 2 plus r, this whole thing, and that's equal to 1. So that's one equation that we're going to be using, right? And then what else do we have? Uh, we can actually simplify this a little bit. So I can just go ahead and factor out the r here. And I'm going to be getting something nicer. Okay, like this. Okay, and now what else can I do? Well, I should be able to use the Pythagorean theorem somewhere, right? Okay, so how can I use that? Well, we have a really nice right triangle here, right? That's the one we're going to use. So let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem here, as well as use this equation, and we should be good to go. Okay, let's write the equation for the Pythagorean. Uh, we have the base is 1 plus x, so that's going to be squared, plus the height here, which is the other leg, is just going to be, okay, what is that length, right? Well, the whole thing is 1, and this is r, so this is going to be 1 minus r, right? So I'm going to be using 1 minus r for the height. It's going to be 1 minus r squared, and the hypotenuse is going to be 1 plus r. So that's going to be 1 plus r squared. Again, we're going to use our identity here. We're going to subtract 1 minus r squared from both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 plus r squared minus 1 minus r squared. And as you know, this is equal to 4r, which is a very helpful identity. And from here, I can square root both sides. Obviously, we're only going to take the positive solution, and it's going to be this one. Okay? All right. So 1 plus x is given as 2 times the square root of r. From here, I can just go ahead and isolate x because I want everything in terms of r because we're trying to solve for r here, right? The radius of the circle. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this equation and this one together so that I can just go ahead and substitute this in the first equation. Let's go ahead and do that. x is equal to 2 times root r minus 1 plus r multiplied by root 2 plus 1, and the whole thing is equal to 1. Okay, now the best way to solve this equation, in my opinion, 
I'm going to isolate the radical. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as 2 root r is equal to, well, if you add 1 to both sides, it's going to be a 2. And then if you subtract this r term here, it's going to look like this. Okay? And then we can just go ahead and uh, square both sides. And that's going to give us 4r is equal to 4 minus 4 times square root of 2 plus 1 times r plus r squared multiplied by root 2 plus 1 squared. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. 4r is equal to 4 minus, now we're going to be getting 4 root 2r minus 4r. And then we, we go ahead and distribute this. Uh, if you square root 2 plus 1, it's, you're going to get uh, 3 plus 2 root 2. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply that whole thing by r squared. And then we're going to get a nice quadratic from here. Let's go ahead and arrange the terms. 3 plus 2 root 2 multiply by r squared minus 4 root 2r minus 4r minus 4r. That's going to make minus 8r. So I can actually go ahead and write this as minus that take out the negative 8 plus 4 root 2r in parentheses and then plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so we're going to be using the quadratic formula obviously for this one. Let's go ahead and set it up. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. Okay, we're going to have to square this 8 plus 4 root 2 squared minus 4ac. 4 times c will be 16. So I can just go ahead and multiply 16 by this quantity here. And we should be set all over 2 times a, which is 6 plus 4 root 2. Okay, we're just going to simplify this a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, I get 8 plus 4 root 2 from here, plus minus the square root of, okay, let's go ahead and square that. It's going to give me 64 plus 8 times 8 is 64 root 2 plus 4 root 2 squared, which is 16 times 2, which is equal to 32, minus 48, minus 32 root 2. Okay, so hopefully we're going to get something nice from there. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more, and then we're going to find the value of the radius. Okay, but there's going to be two values, and we're going to pick and choose the right one. Okay, I got 8 plus 4 root 2 plus minus. Let's go ahead and simplify this. 64 minus 48 is 16 plus 32 is going to be 48. And then 64 root 2 minus 32 root 2 is going to give me 32 root 2. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, let's just jump in up and down, like zooming in and out. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is I want to take out a perfect square here so that the largest number that divides both 48 and 32 is going to be 16 square root of 16 is going to be 4 so I can take out a 4 here and inside the radical I'm going to have since I pulled out a 16 I should have 3 plus 2 root 2 which you should recognize because we know that it's the square of root 2 plus 1 right so then we're going to be getting a nice expression from here yay 8 plus 4 root 2 plus minus 4 times root 2 plus 1. Because if you square root 2 plus 1, you're going to be getting the expression under the radical. So it works. You can check it out. And then I'm just going to split it up to get both solutions. The first one, let's go, ahead, go with the positive version. Plus, I'm going to distribute the 4 to save some steps here. And that divided by 6 plus 4 root 2. Let's go ahead and simplify this more. 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 8 root 2 divided by 6 plus 4 root 2. Obviously, we can just go ahead and divide by 2. That's going to give me 6 plus 4 root 2 divided by, wow, I just noticed something. If I take out a 2 here, then I'm going to be able to simplify even more. There you go. One of the solutions is r equals 2. Okay, now we're going to check the validity of that solution in a little bit, but you can actually do that right now. Can r equal 2? Obviously, that's impossible, right? Because the base of our rectangle is 2, so there's no way that r can equal 2 here. So we're just going to disregard that, unfortunately. This is not the right one, so we're going to go with the minus version, okay? Same thing with the minus sign, okay? So let's go ahead and set it up. 8 plus 4 root 2 minus 4 root 2 minus 4. Remember that you have to take out the parentheses divided by 
6 plus 4 root 2 and this is going to cancel out it's going to look nice it's going to be 4 over 6 uh, and I can just go ahead and plot the 2 again 3 plus 2 root 2 let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator here because it's going to be better that way 2 times okay I'm going to multiply by the conjugate which is this one divided by I'm going to be getting from there 9 minus 8 which is equal to 1 so I don't need to worry about it so our solution is going to be then 6 minus 4 root 2 that's going to be the radius of the circle we're looking for and you can check that this is a valid solution thank you for watching comment subscribe like let me know what you think and see you in the next video bye bye